Mr. Kaufman, this is truly a huge honor for me. Seriously, thank you so much, so much for your time, sir. Um, obviously, not the first time you've adapted someone else's work before. Obviously, whenever you attempted to adapt the Orchid Thief, we ended up getting adaptation, which is just a brilliant, if not a little bit fictional story of, of that adaptation process. But I'm sort of curious, was there anything in this particular adaptation process that would make for a good story to tell someone else one day? Oh, gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, they're all, I'm sorry, they, they're, you know, the process of writing is pretty dull. You know, there's not, there's not a lot of anecdotes. You sit there and then you struggle and then you come up with an idea and then you either like it or you don't. I, you know, nothing much happened. I'm, I'm sorry. Fair enough. Yeah. So, so what you're saying, we're not getting an adaptation sequel anytime soon. No, 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 no. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, you know, uh, oftentimes whenever uh, a filmmaker has uh, uh, ambiguous aspects to, to a story in their film, they, they don't want to over explain or answer questions to the audience. Oftentimes, you know, I've been told, like, I kind of want the audience to figure it out for themselves. But I'm sort of curious, whenever uh, you have an actor on the set, do they, do you feel obligated to explain it to them? If they come to you and say, like, Charlie, I don't understand this, and I need you to explain it to me, do you then feel obligated to, to explain the ambiguities? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain to them what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the interesting thing about that is we can then develop even within that, they can have their own ideas and we can sort of move into something else because they're my collaborators, they're not an audience. You know, yeah, I definitely would, would tell them what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. So when you say you're thinking, are there definitive answers because you read people's interpretation of the book and you understand what the author was thinking. And then I don't know if you were maybe approached it from a different way. And then I don't know if the actors have a right to bring in their own interpretations. Is it a, is it a um, sort of a melting pot of interpretations and ideas, or is it just since it's your film, what you are thinking things mean? No, I mean, I'm, that's, that's what I'm hoping for is that the actors and, and not only the actors, but the designers and the DP um, all have their ideas about what they can bring to it. And, and that they're my collaborators. And so I welcome their thoughts always. That's fantastic. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk to you about uh, one of my all time favorite films, which is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Um, and I feel like that movie with the creation of social media has actually almost become more relevant because now there's this thing that people do if they're in a relationship and they have a bunch of pictures online on Facebook or whatever, if they break up, the first thing they go do is immediately erase all oh, signs yeah. that, uh, that, that, and so which, which every time that, that yeah, I, you know, if it's ever happened to me or I hear for uh, friends of mine, I think of Eternal Sunshine. Do you feel like that movie has become more relevant since its release or have you thought about that at all? Well, I, I didn't know about this thing that you just talked about. I don't have a social media account. So, um, um, so I haven't seen that, but um, no, I think it's the, I, I mean, I guess that's new, but I think the relevance is the relevance, you know, it's about, it's about relationships and it's about, how we think about people and when they struggle, what, what that's about. And, um, and I think that's, that's eternal, you know, that's always going to be that case. For sure. For sure. I, uh, I had the pleasure Netflix, uh, was kind enough to give me the, the link to this early enough so that I could watch it twice. Uh -huh. And the second viewing of this was almost like watching a completely different films because I, I knew certain things that I wanted to look for. There were things yeah. I wanted to listen to closer. I'm sort of curious, whenever you are writing and directing a film, to what degree are you focused on our first viewing of it? And to what degree are you focused on subsequent viewings, things that we might catch that second, third or fourth time around? Um, I'm interested and focused on all of the different viewings that I, I, I like to sort of pepper it with enough stuff so that it resonates in different ways at different times and depending if you've seen it once or you find new things or you're in a different point in your life that you might have a different reaction to the movie you know um so th that's my goal so i'm always thinking about all of that so that it sort of feels expansive it's brilliant how many different levels it worked on. You know, uh, I, I'm, I'm friends with a lot of big movie fans and they were all very jealous that I got to see this film uh, a little bit before they did. And when it was over, they, they would call me and they say, okay, well, like, like how can you best describe it? And I said, well, I, I don't want to categorize it because that seems dismissive. But if I were to categorize it, I would say this is probably the closest Charlie Kaufman's ever come to, to doing a horror film. Um, and then even saying that out loud made me sort of go like, I, I, I don't feel like, I, I, even that, it seems dismissive, but if you were to place this film in Blockbuster, if you had to put it in one of the Blockbuster aisles, would you put it in the horror aisle? I mean, it's a horror movie in the sense that, you know, 
there's horror in real life and in, in people's psyches. It's not a horror movie in the scare sense. So I think it might be mis misrepresenting it to put it in the horror section. Um, mm -hmm. And I wouldn't want people to feel like they weren't getting what they set out to get. It, it, it's, you know, I, I tend not to think in terms of genre and it's so difficult for me to think about where, where it would go. I don't know the answer. Um, you know, there are so many moments in not, not just this film, but so many of your films where I, I might let out an audible response, you know, whether it's just like, oh my God, or like, like what is going on or what, you know, even if it's an expletive or whatever the case may be, whenever you're writing particular moments, do you write them knowing what our reactions to, to something that is unfamiliar is going to be? No, no, I don't think, I don't think about the audience. I think about what appeals to me or what, mm -hmm. or what's moving me or what I think is funny or scary. I, I, it's the only way I know how to write. So, you know, I, I don't, I try not to think about that. And you, know, you hope that people will respond to it, but you know. For sure. Um, and as we wrap up, uh, I, I, always kind of wanted to ask this question. I know it's, it's, it's probably a variation of a stupid question that you've been asked before, but being John Malkovich, I think is a masterpiece. And, and I had read um, some rumors online and you never know if they're true or not, that, that for a long time studios were trying to get you to make it Tom Cruise rather than John Malkovich. And I was curious to, as to whether or not that that was actually true. No, it's not true. At that, all. Well, we, we weren't sure we were going to get Malkovich to agree to be in it, but we always wanted him and nobody ever tried to get us to get anybody else. So that's so interesting. See, that's, that's the beautiful thing about being able to talk to, uh, to, to your cinematic heroes. Cause then you get to clarify stuff like that. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Kaufman, seriously, this was generally an honor. I've been nervous all day before I got the chance oh, to talk okay. to you, but seriously, thank, thank you for taking thank the time you. to do. It. I really thank do appreciate it. Truly an honor. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Bye, Bye guys.